Hey, what's going on, friend? Welcome to another video. I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover here about my temple squats. So usually temple squats are incorporated uh, midweek. So it's usually my second squatting session, which is a little bit lower intensity, uh, but with controlled uh, tempo. So the tempo that we're looking at or that I'm striving for here is a 404, essentially meaning that we're taking uh, four seconds on the eccentric or the lower portion of the lift and then there's not going to be any pause at the bottom so that's going to be zero and then coming out of the hole is going to be straight zero so um, explosive it's what i essentially go for but you know some of the benefits of um of temp incorporating temple squats is that it teaches us how to control uh the movement and Tempo training when targeted correctly permits improved awareness and conscious control for improved motor patterns um, in pattern development. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, one of the best ways to increase strength while avoiding injury is to consistently maintain proper movement uh, in mechanics. You know, this is something that we are aware of. You know, if we execute accordingly, we're able to mitigate the risk of injury that we're uh, probably gonna put ourselves th through. But when rushing a movement such as a squat, you're less likely to pay attention to several key points like properly hinging from the hips, uh, midline stability, and or proper tracking of the knees, you know, things of that nature. So this regarding these key points looks a lot like crashing down with a rounded back, harsh flexion, of the knees showing little to no control in the infamous butt wing. So essentially your form tends to break down if you're not uh, consciously aware of your execution. So using something like tempo and prescribing uh, tempo work to essentially help the athletes slow down, feel each position from start to finish while learning to replicate quality movement as the weight increases it's going to play a huge role in just increasing your level of technique and execution and awareness. So the role of conscious control for maintenance of position is key when attempting to move the weight in the most efficient manner. You know, um, you can feel a drastic difference when everything is synchronized from your breathing to your midline stability and just, you know, knees tracking over your toes creating torque by trying to explode out of the hole externally rotating your 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 knees um, so that's why I essentially would that's why I incorporated um, I was having some shift and I just wasn't paying attention to um, my bracing pattern and I started uh, incorporating some temple squats but Conscious control of what's working, what feels like, and actually owning what your body feels like in your squat rather than just squatting it, you know, makes uh, a big difference. So if you're struggling with position or tightness during the squat, I would try to incorporate uh, tempo squats at least once a week or so. Try a three, uh, two, three, two, zero tempo, you know, for three to five reps. So essentially, three second eccentric lower portion, making sure that you're maintaining your tightness. Then once you're in the hole, maintaining that position for a two count and then uh, exploding out of the hole. But um, yeah, I hope that uh, you, know, you find uh, this information helpful here, uh, but let's continue with the rest of the video.
All right, guys, I probably look crazy right now. My hair is all over the place, but we got this training session done. Currently 10 weeks out from Raw Nats. And, you know, training for me right now is non-negotiable. I gotta get this shit done. I gotta bring my best. That way when I step on the platform, I know that I left every stone unturned and I did everything that I could to essentially bring my best on that given day, on October 13th. Um, today's session was a little bit rough and motivation wasn't there and I was I was running purely off discipline especially because yesterday um, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post maybe you guys did but um, I was flying from Houston to Orlando um, and what was supposed to be only an hour and 50 minute flight ended up turning out to five hours and 30 minute uh, travel time storms were too bad so we couldn't land in Orlando so we had to divert you know fly around in the sky for a little bit and then after that we're running out of fuel so we had to land in Tampa waited there for like an hour and then took off to Orlando and then I get home super late I was just exhausted and <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to train today usually my split is Monday through Wednesday off Friday Saturday um, and then Sunday off but because I'm gonna be traveling tomorrow to Tel Aviv, um, it's gonna be about around 14 hour travel time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this training session, which is one of the most important sessions out of the whole week for me. Um, <clears throat> so we sucked it up, we got in here, and we got shit done. Is it ideal? Um, no, it probably does increase the risk of injury per se because of the residual uh, fatigues from the previous day being that I squatted yesterday as well so I had a squat back to back days but this training session I had to be super mindful and literally take every single rep as a single and rebrace and make sure that everything is moving as efficiently as possible just so I can prevent that because when fatigue starts getting high well that's when the chances of um, injury increase so we made it we made it we got shit done and now it's time to go home pack up to head out tomorrow to israel so i guess the next training session that you guys will see from me will probably be in israel somewhere i'm not sure where i'm going to be training yet i'm going to be there for a whole week so hopefully i can find a gym that accommodates to my lifts but today was my heaviest day out of the entire uh, week and not only that but it will be the heaviest day until next Friday and by that time I'll be back home so I can get in that session in but I still got four more sessions that I'll have to get in while I'm traveling but we're gonna make it happen hopefully hopefully if not well what can I do but we will do our best I will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow morning with my main man Austin Denham, who will be flying out with me to Israel and meeting my other two boys, Brian DaCosta and Brandon Myers, out there. It's gonna be super cool. So, I'll catch you guys.